Hello listeners and welcome to this morning's edition of the Talk of the Town. This morning, my guest in the studios is Mr. Mayanta Disanayaka, Member of Parliament representing the Samagi Janapala Vege. A very good morning to you, Mr. Disanayaka. Good morning and good morning to all your listeners. So, Mr. Disanayaka, right off the bat, let me ask you. The SJB, although it is a young party, is the main opposition in the country <coughs> at present. And we know that there is an election a presidential election that is later to take place later this year how are preparations from the side of the SJB taking place to win the election and for your presidential candidate to become the ultimate president well as you say this year is a very very crucial year for sri lanka it's a very crucial year for the SJB also mm. we will once again go to the polls and uh, see what the people of this country wants and how they want to restructure and take this country forward mm. uh, we have Uh, our leader and leader of the opposition as our common candidate mm. we are building a broad alliance so that uh, like minded like policy people mm. in this country will get together and and turn the sjb into a force to really be reckoned with and we are planning on <coughs> so we are so we are gearing up for for uh, a national election it is the uh the election where the head of state is elected the presidential election so we are expecting the presidential election to come first mm. however at the grassroots level uh as a political party we are getting all our candidates ready the existing uh, members of parliament and respected new mm. uh, electoral organizers also so if the government loses mm. its majority 109 13 being the magic number yes. because uh, let me tell you there are uh several uh, sitting members of parliament who have expressed their willingness to join us right so we would go through a vetting process we are not going to take just anyone who's willing to come just to just to topple government or or to dissolve get parliament dissolved right but uh, we would vet them and see uh, their track records and if they are in line mm. with our policies and our thinking and then we would form a much broader alliance and if there is a presidential or a general election mm. we are as a party gearing up for it mm. uh, we are getting our electoral organizers ready let's see what happens and we expect to win it so mr disanayaka after the onset of the crisis in sri lanka one thing that we saw was the mass exodus of professionals young minds professionals educated people leaving the country for other opportunities abroad There is any listener who is listening in on the talk of the town this morning who is hoping to go abroad or has a son or daughter who has already gone abroad what sort of a message do you have from the part of the SJB to bring back these able and capable young men and women to serve sri lanka once more people that have left already and people who are in the process of leaving as much as i would like to say you know come back to a country where sjb is in charge mm. and our policies are in place and we would change this country i know once you make the decision to leave it's difficult for anyone to convince you otherwise so by the same time uh, i do not have a magic wand to say that the day that we take over power from the very next day things are going to be dramatically change and everything is going to be tickety boo and uh, economy will suddenly take off and recover it won't be a bed of roses so it, it yeah it it will be a process that that will take place right. uh, we will need at least 4 uh, to 5 years in terms of really changing things around mm. but we would introduce a culture a new culture that that anyone who's capable and able mm. and willing to put in the work can really uh, can really develop businesses or join politics or in you know, a professional capacity so we would like to let me tell you when we when we leave power we would like to leave a better country than what we inherited mm. uh from our parents and from the current lot right so uh those who are going overseas and working overseas uh certainly get your experience get your exposure mm. get your knowledge get your technical know how uh under the sjb this is the only promise that i can give under the sjb we will create a situation where you can come back to the country mm. contribute towards the development of this country mm. contribute to the policies of this country and to ensure that their children one day will be true sri lankans will be recognized internationally because when our kids go overseas and i've seen this uh, all the time uh, first few years they do suffer they do go through the you know the 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 adaptation process adaptation process mm. of of that country 
but they are after they do very well it's amazing i mean they they build their businesses they are they build their professional careers uh, i have uncles aunts cousins friends all over the world uh, who have done very well for themselves but unfortunately uh, you know along the way they do lose their sri lankan identity mm. uh, and their kids uh, are not identified with as sri lankans mm. you know they'll be like canadian sri lankans or yes. australian sri lankans yes. uh, but that part will come first they will say they are canadian sri lankans or they are australian you know uh we would ensure that you know now 75 years of independence and we have gone through this um we would ensure that the country you know the next generation can be proud of us that's the kind of country that we want to leave behind that will be the sjb uh, legacy that will be honorable sadip premdas's legacy that you know he took on a country that was bankrupt uh it can be done i mean this country is so blessed in that way i mean geographically we are in the right place uh economically we can turn things around mm. we are our uh, seas are eight times larger than our land mass mm. so much of resources available in this country uh so much of uh, intellectual capacity in this country but somehow over the last so many years we have got things wrong. uh we will try and right the wrongs mm. uh of the previous government certainly i mean for example uh, to really have a uh, anti corruption bill in place mm. Uh, and recovery of uh, assets assets Locked, stolen assets stolen assets mm. i mean corruption is something that this country has always uh, had an issue with mm. uh, but we must be able to lead by example mm. uh, and our thinking is we would have a a, a, a cabinet of of uh, of leaders mm. uh, that people can say oh my goodness uh the jaja of the cabinet had the garmid sanayaka's life at the mudalis the premadas uh, honorable sadip premadas is aiming in having a, a good uh, cabinet mm. is that you know in the after you know after our time is over uh people will look back and say my goodness uh sadip premadas really did deliver what he promised yes. he has changed his country around he has changed the economic ethos of this country uh not just policy wise and culturally our country will be a different place that you know our kids can be proud of right. that's where we want to get the sjb says that they will create a country that our kids will be proud of being in and also representing my guest this morning was member of parliament mayanta disanayaka representing the samak jana palavege thank you very much for joining me mr disanayaka this morning and that's always pause on the talk of the town it's back to the studio